What's up guys, it's our Kiwis here and welcome back to another video. Um, as you can tell by the title, I do have 10 of the guaranteed Team of the Season SBC saved up. So yeah, just going to open them for today's video. Um, don't know why I've waited this long to do it, honestly. I should have done them when they first came out. But this is my first day off in a while, so decided to do them today. Um, they run out tomorrow, so if you do want to do something, there's still a day left. Other than that... I don't think there's much to talk about. Uh, Foot Champs Rewards I'll open on stream later. I only played to 11 wins. Um, I haven't uploaded a video to YouTube on my Foot Champs Rewards in nearly a month now, I think. Because, let's be honest, the rewards are just shocking. Like, even if I do bother uh, playing to Elite, like, the rewards are still shocking. So there's no point. Um, these cards, honestly, I've not really been on FIFA at all. The last few days, I've started on stream a Road to Glory. Um on a different account to try and give the stream something new to watch because honestly i just don't care about fifa which is sad because there's still over two months left of this fifa um which is disappointing but yeah if you're wondering what spc i'm doing it is this one that any team in a season guaranteed um as i say there's a day left i'm gonna upload this um around six o'clock on thursday i am going out afterwards so i would wait until six o'clock content look at that and then open a pack but i'm going out at literally six so i'm actually going to schedule this for six o'clock so if i don't reply to your comments straight away that's why but you need 70k and 82 rated they cost about 45k each so um whether they're worth it or not probably not but yeah as i say about 45k each they cost I did go out and buy all the players for it. My club is just empty and bare. Overall, I've done about... Definitely need to turn the TV down. I've done about 28 prime icon packs now, which is where all of my players are gone. Um, is that Ooze? Whatever he's called. Yeah, he's close enough. Um, as long as I can get a few decent rated players to maybe do some icon packs before they run out or any sort of high rated SBC, I don't mind, as I say, I'm not expecting usable players at this time of the year, my team's really good already, the chance of packing someone usable is very slim, well not usable, but to get in my team already, um, is very slim, so just high rated's all I'm after, but yeah, they cost about 45k, and the chances of you making your coins back on them aren't high, but, you know, upgradable packs, I've always been a fan of, um, for me, with how bad the gameplay is this year, anyone that watches me consistently knows how much I don't like the game. Um, for me, SBCs are like one of the only fun things to do on the game. So, if I've got coins out there and I've got coins to waste, I'm going to sit there and I'm going to do upgrade packs. Because, as I say, it's literally one of the only uh, fun things to do, in my opinion. I haven't played squad battles in ages either. Last time I played squad battles, I did get first, and I didn't get a single walkout in the pack, so that just completely put me off massively. Rashford's not bad, to be fair. I got him as a red card when he first came out, and he wasn't terrible. Um, I was playing 4-4-2 at the wide um, at the time, and playing him out wide in the left mid formation, the pace and the height did make a big difference out wide. I can never play him in a central role, because he is heavy on the ball, because he's tall, uh, what is he, 6-1. Because he's tall and he's got the three-star weak foot, I couldn't play him. But out wide, having the pace and having the height to be able to whack the ball up to him and then flick it on and stuff and hold it up, it was actually really good out wide. But yeah, as I say, like, through the middle, I wouldn't play that Rashford whatsoever. His foot birthday card is probably better just for the fact that he's got a five-star weak foot. Fred, oh, um, I was going to say don't be our because I'm pretty sure I've got him untradeable, but I might not. Uh, Sam Year will probably go into an icon pack. But yeah, let me know how many icon packs you guys have opened, by the way. As I say, that's what my train of thought was that I lost earlier in the video. But yeah, I've opened about 28, 27, 28 Prime icon packs on my own account. I've opened uh, others on PlayStation Shareplay, but I've opened about 27, 28 on my own account. And I've not played a single game with any of the icons that I've packed. I'm pretty sure the only icon that um, is like half usable was maybe SEN. And even then, like, SEM was a free card absolutely ages ago. So, yeah, as I say, not a single player have I used yet that I actually would have put into the team. Out of 28, which is an incredible stat, to be fair. To open, I know there's not many great icons, but to open 28 and not get anywhere near a top level one, like, I've not even packed a Dark Leash or somebody who's, like, still not brilliant at this stage of the year, but it's still more than usable. Um... Not a Maldini, just not anybody. 
I have no idea who this is. Is that Adebayor? No. Labber. Yeah, absolutely no clue who he is. No clue. It's, when did he even get a team of the season card? When did this happen? Um, but yeah, no. <laughs> other than Rashford, these have not been great so far. We got an 86 in the last pack. How much are they going for? I mean, I suppose, like, if you were going to complete SBCs, it's about 50k. The SBC is about 45k to complete altogether. So, if you get at least, like, a 90-rated player, you're kind of making your coins back, which isn't what you want, because I would rather have the coins sat there than the coins in an untradeable player. But it's still better than nothing, I suppose. I mean, that's not going to be Ronaldo, is it? So, there's no point in even getting hyped for it. Paulinho. Great. 83 pace. Brilliant. Oh, uh, FIFA 21 trailer has come out. I'm not going to lie, I didn't watch the trailer. I don't care, because every trailer is a lie anyway. Ah, oh, new attacking stuff. Oh yeah, new movement. Oh, better attacking runs, better passing, quicker gameplay. It's all a lie. It's, all, it's always a lie, let's be fair. You cannot take it seriously until the game comes out. But, extremely positive news. Looks like there's 2v2 in foot. Well, it's not looks like, there is. There is going to be 2v2 in for, um, like, co-op play. We don't know if it's on friendlies yet. They've said that it's in squad battles and rivals, which is a bit weird to me. I'm guessing it would play like a guest, um, like you just sort of invite each other to a game. But that could definitely make it more fun. I personally, you know I play squad battles, I've finished first loads. But it is boring as anything. And rivals, I completely stay away from because it's so boring. But the fact that they've made it duo and you can do two, uh, both of you can play from different consoles will definitely make it a lot more usable and a lot more playable than it has been. As I say, I think I've only played about 200 Rivals games all year, maybe not even that, which is nothing. Considering Division Rivals and that, I would grind massively in previous FIFAs. So for it to be 2v2 and I can just hop on and play games with mates for fun will be a great addition. But yeah, 2v2 looks sick. The actual gameplay, I wouldn't pay attention to whatsoever. That being said, last pack, I've had one Rashford so far and absolutely nothing else I can even remember. And we finish with an absolute stinker as well. I'm pretty sure the ratings have been shocking as well. I've had a couple of 86s. Did I get an 84 a minute ago or something? I don't know. Either way, these haven't been brilliant, but kind of shows you the pack weight for them. I packed one Rashford, which still isn't brilliant at this stage of the game. Pretty much everyone has cards like that Rashford. But, you know, as I say, they're 45k up to complete, which means I wasted 450k on them, which is quite a lot. But if you're doing the 81 pluses, if you're doing the 82 to 88, then they're going to be a lot cheaper than me just going out and buying them. And as I say, upgrade packs are usually the only uh, fun thing on this game for me. But that being said, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you're staying safe and looking after yourselves. If you could, of course, leave a like, comment down below and subscribe if you haven't already, then that'd be really appreciated. That's going to be the end of the video for me, guys. Thank you for watching.